Hi, it's Ronick from Ask Audio Magazine. We're still at Messe, Frankfurt, 2015. But I'm here with Scott from ImageLine. And Scott's going to talk to us about uh, the new FL Studio 12, which we're really excited to hear about. Hi, Scott. How are you doing? Oh, good, thanks, Ronick. Well, uh, the first thing we want to say is that FL 12, like all our FL Studio updates, is free for existing customers. It's part of our lifetime free update program. So if you've got FL Studio 10 or 11, come and grab it. It's yours. So we're always proud of that. It's, re it's really, there's more pleasure in giving than receiving, and we enjoy that. Here. I mean, I still find it hard to believe that's actually possible. And in, in today's market you know there's like membership programs subscription programs uh, just buying it outright cutting the price down and being subsidized by selling computers or phones and uh, one day I want to actually pick your brains and find out how you're, it's actually possible from a business sense. Well if you think about the iOS and Android uh, app stores they're lifetime free updates as well so it's something we started a decade ago and I suppose the rest of the industry is just catching up with and it's really about having a relationship with the customer and treating them how you would like to be treated. I mean why pay for bug fixes every time a new version is released. Anyway, cool. with regard to FL Studio 12, um, we've uh, added even more value in that the Fruity Edition now comes with uh, audio clips. Previously you had to do event automation, so, so you can use audio clips. Uh, Producer Edition gets Citrus and Maximus free. They're two of our most popular plugins. And uh, Signature Bundle now gets Harmer, sorry, harm, sorry, not Harmer, Harmless. Uh, new tone, picture, and gross beat. Again, very popular plugins. I haven't, I haven't personally come across Harmless. Uh, what kind of plugin is it? Uh, Harmless is the little brother of Harmall. In fact, it came before Harmer, okay. and it uh, really was the inspiration for it. It was about making additive synthesis, uh, uh, additive. Uh, analog synthesis uh, accessible and uh, then after that uh, the developer uh, goal or Didio uh, decided to open it right up and uh, Harm has been one of our most popular in fact is our most popular plugin Good, yeah yeah, it yeah the, uh, it's, 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 it's you know one of our most popular FL studio tutorial articles yeah. as well we do Harmer stuff yeah Let, let's have a look at some of the more um, you know the new features in FL yeah. studio 12 well the, the headline feature for FL studio 12 is really the, the graphical user interface. Now everything you see here is a vector. There are no bitmaps. And that lets us, uh, you know, every, uh, everything is resizable, rescalable. Uh, for example, I'll just hit play. In fact, one of the, the things our customers were asking us was the mixer was always a little bit small and cramped and, and the use cases vary from you know, sitting with a mouse in a dark room doing a bit of remixing to on, you know, on stage or, or doing those sorts of things. So for now we, can, uh, we have six uh, mixer states, so from extra large, uh, which is obviously easy to uh, grab the faders. In fact, uh, let me just turn on multi-touch mode, so multi-touch mode up here, and that uh, allows it uh, now multi-touch faders. Yeah. So let me turn off multi-touch mode. And one of the other things our customers were asking us about. Just need to make sorry, it's my fault. And now you can gang faders. I mean, oh, it's, nice. Well, it's something that's been around for a while, but and the customers keep asking, and now we, they finally have it. Yeah. And then you know, to see it being done on a touchscreen device actually is it's, it looks more impressive. Yeah. No, it's it's, it's really uh, opens up a whole new, I uh, suppose, category of working with the program. Before uh, we've been working our way towards this, and the touch still hasn't finished for us. Uh, as we move forward, we'll continue to make it uh, more user friendly uh, with touch features. So the mixer is really the, the star of the show for FL Studio, apart from the graphical user interface, the mixer is the star of the show for us because of its flexibility. Uh, as I said, there's uh, people who prefer the original mixer can put it down into compact mode and shrink it down. Uh, this is the same as it uh, is in FL Studio 11 in terms yeah. of its size. 
so really, really cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, are there any other new uh, plugins or instruments that can be included with FL Studio 12? Uh, this this release, we don't have any new plugins. Uh, we've updated uh, many of them. Let me just stop here. Uh, for example, uh, three OSC. Let's just drop it on a sorry, drop it on the channel. Okay, yeah. Three OSC oscillator is one of our oldest plugins, and as you can see, we have a uh, again a vectorial interface, and, and we have to go vectorial because FL Studio can now run on everything from you know 1080p monitors right up to 8K, and on, at 8K. Uh, standard interfaces shrink to postage stamps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it looks so, I mean, it's so clean. It's so clear. It, it, it just got a, yeah, makes me want to touch it. Yeah, to oh, oh, we love it. In fact, uh, we've been using this now for I suppose oh, almost a year. And we go back to FL Studio 11, and you go, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> and it, so I mean, it's, it's, uh, Didier and the team have done a fantastic job. Absolutely, oh, excellent. Um, and so, you know, it's been in beta for a little while yeah. now. Um, how, uh, how how long has that been going on for? Just around 12 months, I think. And right, yeah, we've time. had about half a million people beta tested, uh, which is reasonable. Uh, hopefully, that means uh, when we release it uh, next Monday, it should be bug, as bug-free as any software can be. Uh, but uh, users always feedback uh, you know, issues they find, and as usual, we fix them with updates. So uh, Mondays at the 20th of April is the official release, and we'll take it from there. Okay. And then uh, for new users, um, what's the pricing? Oh, the pricing. So uh, Fruity Edition, uh, which is everything but uh, automation clips, is 99 US dollars. Uh, producer edition is 199 US dollars, and signature bundle is 299 US dollars. So it's an inexpensive door to start with, and you get lifetime free updates, and it rocks. So it's a it's a no-brainer. Crazy. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, I'm going to ask you one more question, yeah. and it's, you probably know what it's going to be. Um, Mac version, FL Studio? Well, we, we always say we're making no promises, but uh, I have a version working on an iMac in my office. Um, now, unless Apple releases OS X 10 point something point something and it completely breaks uh, the current version, uh, we're planning to be beta testing sooner rather than later. I know we've uh, been experimenting with wrapped versions in crossover and some other uh, techniques, but this is a native version. It's working, we're just sorting out some API issues at the moment, the way the graphics move, so things are a little bit choppy, keeping the frame rates up, uh, but it's working. No promises, because until it's in the market where people can actually use it, it doesn't exist. Okay. But it really is going to happen as far as we can, as far as we're concerned. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, from all the communication I've had with yourself and with ImageLine, I gather you want to do it right, as opposed to just get it out there. So. Oh, absolutely. We can't release sense. a product that doesn't work. But again, I'll just repeat, until you can download the file, no promises. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Scott. Thank you very, very much for this demo. Cheers.